Hi guys! Uh, we're at Gary's apartment and as you can see, it's almost empty. I know I didn't actually show the full apartment before we started cleaning it up and moving things out. My bad. But this is what it looks like for now. Um, today, he has to be out and turn everything in by midnight. He didn't get up here till like 4 o'clock just because the traffic was so bad, good old 95. If you guys live around here, you know exactly what it's like. Um, so yeah, so basically I'm just going to show a few clips of us finished cleaning up and we'll go from there. And it's snowing outside. Sorry, okay, I'm done being weird. For now. No wonder that box is so heavy. A quantum physics book. Waves, oscillations, modern engineering, physical biology of the cell. And he has three textbooks in here. One textbook is here. I'm saying jump. Keep trying to put my hands in my front pockets and they're fake. One eternity later. to show it. Classy yeah, elegant, like, like it's smart. Oh, okay. You know, like cocktails and... Yeah, I'm not classy elegant. I'm not a cocktail girl. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to come to the way you do. <laughs> <laughs> 
One eternity later. So much room for activity. I'm literally counting pennies right now at nine o'clock at night. <laughs> 1 other eternity later A million and one eternities later Saying goodbye Let me say goodbye Next day. On this side, so you can move everything from that side to this side. Yes. Exactly. We're trying to just focus on the stuff we have here at mom's house because she has plenty of stuff to get rid of. Hey guys, welcome back to the decluttering process. So we're decluttering the patio as you can see. Try to get a wider shot. Right, yeah. You don't need to do that right here. Okay. We will do that. You're right, you're right. I don't, I don't know why I, I don't know why I do that. I'm cleaning ADHD. That's soft. Able to go to storage or no I still want this to sit out here this I would like once these are out it's gonna be sitting this way oh there's Gary's dongle Damn nails! It's <laughs> embarrassing. I see what I mean. I just vacuumed. She buried her bone in the corner. I know that puppy's not there anymore. You move. I wonder if somebody was killed with it. it looks like you would kill somebody with that. It's not a nice tip. It's, it's a, pointy enough to kill. Point. It's that's, a star tip. That's pointy enough to kill someone if you stick it in their ear. Actually, people get stabbed with screwdrivers all the time. You could stab someone with that. Not all the time, but. Drop. Wild child. Drop it. Drop it. I can't throw it. <laughs> to throw the ball if I throw the ball. Drop it. Let go. Come on. Drop. Drop. Almost. Drop! 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 Hey guys, so today the next 
part of the process of uh, fixing up the closet and Gary moving in is going through my closet and gutting a bunch of my old clothes that I don't even wear anymore or don't fit me. This is part of my closet, that's not even all of it. We're gonna start with that because it's probably, I think it's the most condensed at least, and then we'll move on to the other closet. And then hopefully I'll be able to cut it down enough that Gary can fit his stuff and I can also fit my stuff, which is going to be very hard for me. We'll see. And I'm not gonna record the entire thing because I know that would take a really long time, so I'm just gonna do bits and pieces, clips here and there. Okay, so we're gonna have a few different piles. So we're gonna have one pile for selling, one pile for donation, <laughs> one pile for trying on, and then one pile for keeping, I guess. How many piles was that? Four. Four piles. I changed my shirt because I was going to get hot. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed, so I'm trying to just take this one step at a time, one closet at a time. I guess I'll start with shoes. Okay, so I know it's been a hot minute since those last clips. Um, it has taken a while to finally get things situated. Things still aren't even all situated. So I wanted to finish the closet part because I realized I never actually finished recording that for whatever reason. So I'm gonna finish it now. So what you guys saw was my main closet that had most of my clothes in it. Now, I was sharing half of another closet with my mom. All of those clothes are cleared out now. I have them in the spaces that they need to be, but I'll still show you guys that space. Sorry that I did not show it with the clothes in, in there. I really don't know why I didn't. I kind of think it was around a time that I just fell off of vlogging and um, there was a period there for a while that I had just stopped completely. Yeah, I have a lot of clothes. <laughs> that doesn't mean like I'm rich or anything guys, it just means that I'm really bad with my money. Alright, let me show you guys. Okay, so there's a bunch of other stuff in it right now. This used to have all of my skirts. This was filled with all of these cubic QB bin thingies. They're all filled with my clothes and it took up this whole space and there was even one up here. And then I had a bunch of dresses and cardigans here. This is mom's stuff now. Yeah, we do still need to clean this up completely. It's kind of just a storage mess right now. But eventually we would like to have some of the games from downstairs up here and um, linen closet. This is the infamous white dresser with all of my winter clothes. And I mean, it is full. And it's a mess, and I plan on getting rid of a bunch of this stuff. A lot of it doesn't even fit me anymore now that I've gained weight. And that's Gary's dresser. This is now my dresser, and it has all of, um, it has a good portion of my clothes in it. And then here are all my t-shirts. And yes, as you can see, I definitely did that KonMari method. 
That shit changed my life. I did it there, I did it for my jeans. And here's the rest of my clothes. I have, um, these are all my dress clothes besides some basics down there. Skirts, tops. And this is where I have my workout clothes. Workout and comfy clothes, leggings. These two cubbies are Gary's. And then I have my hats and my shoes. Some of those are Gary, well, the top part is Gary's shoes, the rest are my shoes. And over here is where I have put my cardigans and sweaters and jackets. So those are actually all of my clothes. Surprising, I know, I don't have any more, what? A lot of these clothes have actually stuck with me since high school. Some of them are a lot newer. When I first got my job and I was feeling pretty good like two and a half years ago, I'll admit it, went on a couple shopping sprees, had myself a little bit of fun. I'll also admit I like clothes a little too much. My friends like to say I have an excessive shoe problem, but I've seen a lot worse. I guess that doesn't make it any better. So I'm not going to show you guys the final product until my next vlog, the after portion, and that's when I'll show you a compilation that I put together of everything when we're completely done with it. Oh, or well, for the most part done with it. There's still little things here and there that I'd like to add to each and every room that we just don't have the money for right now, but I'm tired of waiting to show you guys you know, the finished product after Gary has moved in. Gary has officially been living with us since April, actually. Um, and it's been going really well. There's definitely ups and downs, I'll be completely honest. But that's a part of any healthy relationship. If you guys like this type of video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.